Oh God, no, that's, I mean, because my boobs have got bigger too. Small buttons down the middle shirt. Sorry, no. Yeah, the only worry is just like, as I get bigger, just already can't breathe. <laughs> and I can't get it over my boobies. <laughs> All right, it's time for one of those videos. We're doing a big wardrobe clear out. We're doing some organization of clothes. We're doing some trying on of clothes because guess what? My body has changed. I am, at the time of filming this, 20 weeks pregnante and um, there is a bump and I'm starting to feel that my clothes aren't fitting me. My due date is the end of April, which means I am going to just be getting bigger and bigger throughout winter. And so I need some maternity appropriate, winter appropriate clothes. As much as possible, I just want to continue wearing the clothes that I currently own. However, before we dive into what I currently own, I have bought some maternity things. First up, I bought two pairs of secondhand maternity jeans. I was doing pretty well with things that I can wear on my top half because in winter I tend to wear a lot of loose baggy tops and jumpers and things but uh, my bottom half was not doing so well. And so that is why I went and picked up some maternity jeans and I've had these for a while now and I love them. I love them so much. They are perfect. It's just like the comfiest thing ever. Like in normal jeans, if I was like out and about during the day, by the time the evening rolls around and I'm like chilling on the sofa, I wanna like undo all of those buttons. I wanna take these things off. These literally could wear them until the moment I go to bed. It's great. And then the other maternity stuff that I've bought so far is tights. Once again, because of the bottom half thing and I just wasn't able to wear <laughs> some dresses and skirts and things. And so having tights that actually like fit and didn't suffocate me was a win. So that's where we're at and this is the current situation. So you may have seen my series of videos where I tried 33 items for three months and that was mostly over spring and summer. And then I now have more than 33 items for sure, but I'm still doing a seasonal wardrobe thing. So most of my like really summery clothes are in a box in a cupboard. And here we have my like autumn, winter. It's a bit more of a transitional wardrobe but we're gonna turn it into just like pure winter now i'm gonna separate the things that i'm putting away into two piles one is this is just never going to fit me when pregnant so we just like put it away and we think about it in six months time or whatever and then the other pile of things that i'll be putting away are these will fit me when i have a massive belly but they are just not for this weather right now and maybe I'll bust them out in March, April time once the weather is getting a bit warmer and I'm like eight, nine months pregnant. And then obviously everything else, winter clothes that are gonna fit a big belly are staying. And then at the end, we will see what I've got left, if there are any gaps, if there are any things missing that I need to acquire somehow, hopefully secondhand, that is my aim. I recently discovered that my local area has a secondhand kids and maternity shop, so, I've been going in there a lot. That's where I got my jeans from and I keep <laughs> DMing the woman on Instagram being like, do you have this? Do you have this? So hopefully you can get some more stuff from there if needed. But first, obviously we need to empty my wardrobe and my drawers onto my bed and really assess everything and do a bit of a maternity try on situation. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Take a real close look So seeing as I've got some new maternity jeans, I thought I would first try my bottom halves, see how my old jeans and trousers fit. I do not have high hopes. Okay, this amazing Lucene Yak number, I don't think these are gonna fit because they are super narrow, like around the top. Ooh, that's a push. Okay, <laughs> at 20 weeks, they still fit, but it's not elasticated. I think they've like re-released these style of trousers, but um, with elastic in the back, but these ones are not those. Oh, they're so fun. Imagine this with a bump, but this is not. <laughs> 
I wouldn't even wear these now, like they feel really tight. Sorry, you'll be coming back soon, hopefully. Next up are my dungarees. Now actually, these served me really well in my first trimester, because I wasn't showing. And also the nausea meant that I couldn't really wear anything that was tight around my belly or had a waistband because it just made me feel sick. So I basically lived in these and another pair of trousers, but they are denim and they have this zip here, so I don't know. Right, okay, so they still fit, <laughs> but for how much longer? There isn't a huge amount of growing room there, but I might keep these for now because actually that's still, that does still feel really comfy. And then if I feel like it's getting too tight, I'll just be like, boof, boom, instant more room. Like, who cares? And I'm gonna be wearing lots of jumpers anyway, so. Right, we're keeping this. And also, doesn't every pregnant person need a pair of dungarees? Isn't that like a requirement? <laughs> right, this is the other pair of trousers that I lived in in first trimester because they have a thick waistband. So that wasn't as like tight on my belly as like jeans would have been. And then also because they have this zip up the front, it meant that in the evenings I could just be like, boof. But, <laughs> that's tight now come on oh these are like my favorite winter trousers i absolutely love these like if i was any kind of whiz with a sewing machine i'd probably think that you could like maybe add some fabric in there and just <laughs> that thing and just continue to expand it but i don't think it would go high enough that already like feels uncomfortable oh i'm so sad that these guys aren't gonna get like a proper good winter but they had a good autumn and they served me well through that nausea so thank you for your service i'll see you again next year next aha okay the real test my skinny jeans oh <laughs> i mean i'm assuming these are just an automatic no but i kind of curious to see what the situation is oh my god they're still doing up, just come on. Oh my God, that is vastly more uncomfortable than the maternity jeans. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, even before I got pregnant, I'd basically gone off my skinny jeans uh, during lockdown. I was like, it's not worth it. I have another pair of black skinny jeans. I'm imagining this will be the same kind of situation. <laughs> I don't know if they feel tighter on my like calves and thighs because those parts of my body have actually got bigger or I'm just not used to skinny jeans after like almost two years of lockdown and being like, I just want to be comfy. Oh yeah, that's another can't really breathe in it. Goodbye. Oh, okay. So these, I think these are gonna have to go in the like third pile of we'll need early access to once it starts getting warmer because these are other Lucy and Yak. Look at that. Look at the room there. Well, maybe I just keep these now and they can be like at home loungy wear because our flat doesn't get that cold. Yeah, these are a keeper. Finally, another Lucy and Yak pair. And this time it's Lucy and Yak dungarees, which again, are lightweight. So I tend to wear these more in the spring and the summer, but they definitely have more growing room in them than my denim dungarees. I mean, more growing room depending on how <laughs> loose you go. I don't know. I think these might go in the, we'll bust them out come spring, maybe later in pregnancy if they do fit. But I don't actually know if they will have enough growing room in them. Skirts. This is gonna be disastrous, I can tell already. This skirt I actually tried on the other day and had to take it off after wearing it for about 20 minutes. Cause I was like, it's too tight. Which is a shame cause it's a good winter skirt for me. And like, it does still go up, it does still fit, but it's just not the one. See you next year, hopefully. This is gonna be an absolute no-go. This is like, <laughs> no growing room, mini skirt. Look, I used to need a belt with it. What's that about? I mean, it still fits now. And actually this is comfier than the orange skirt. This actually feels really nice. Maybe I could get away with this for a couple more weeks. Haha, <laughs> okay. This one, this is super high-waisted, very tight fitted skirt. And I love this skirt. I've not worn this like basically all year because it's such a winter vibe. <laughs> okay, we're in. I mean, what I need to get, what I see a lot of pregnant folks wear is like bodycon, like tight fitted, but it's all made out of like 
stretchy material. I've got a lot of tight fitted things, but not stretchy. No wiggle room here, I'm afraid. Already can't breathe. <laughs> See you next year. All right, this pleated bad boy. I think this might be too short. That's the issue with a lot of clothes that I do own is that they're they can be very short and so as bump gets bigger it's like ah. this actually still fits and still feels quite good right now oh do we keep this for for a while along with my other skirt cute it does feel very like wintry like autumnal winter i'm gonna keep it for now we'll see how it goes okay party skirt i really want a christmas season party season outfit oh this this is fine this is like fully over the bump. It's got quite a thick waistband, so that's not too tight and restrictive. And there's so much flowiness here, and it's long. Ooh. And then the final skirt is this mini black one that I basically only wear under a dress to stop it from being see-through. I worry that this is gonna be too tight. And if this is too tight, it means that that dress is gonna have to go because that dress is see-through without this skirt. Oh, okay. That elastic band is already too tight on me. That's a shame. I don't even know if that dress would fit, but I will. Oh, I feel like every time I take one of these tighter items off, I'm like, oh, what do we want to do next? Jumpsuits and dresses? Yes. <laughs> I have three jumpsuits. This little one, play suit if you will. This one is buttoned all the way down the middle. So I do not have high hopes <laughs> for this being something that I can grow into. Oh God, no, that's, I mean, cause my boobs have gotten bigger too. I mean, no, there's like no growing room in that. Nah, no, 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 no. Then we've got my big long velvety black jumpsuit which I have high hopes for this because look how elastic that is. And also I wore this in my like dressing as sex education characters uh, video. Let's just pretend there's an actual cleavage there. As Jean Milburn, and obviously Jean was pregnant in the last series of sex education, so it's only fitting, isn't it? Like, yeah, there's growing groom in there. This is wintery party season, Christmas party season, black velvet jumpsuit. Okay, this next jumpsuit is a bit more summery. So even if it might be a good fit, it might be the wrong weather, the wrong season. I might put this in the uh, to revisit come March, April. We'll see. Dresses. So this is the dress that requires the skirt underneath it, but let's try it on anyway, even though it's straight to the no pile, because it's going to be see-through. <laughs> Well, that's a shame because this actually still fits and is very comfortable. Is there a workaround? This feels like a proper maternity dress as well. I got it in a charity shop and it's from Marks and Spencers, so... <laughs> hmm? No, it's, it's about comfort. It's all about comfort and that skirt to go underneath this is just not going to bring me comfort. Oh, okay. I adore this dress. I rented it from on loan for a while and then I was like, I'm wearing this all of the time. Uh, I want to buy it. <laughs> And then that's what happened. This, I think, would be a perfect summer maternity dress. I can't figure out if I could get away with wearing this in the winter. Look at that, look at it's just pure elastic and just giant tights, boots, and then like just jumpers over the top. That could totally work. Can totally style this for winter. It's a keeper. This is another on loan item that I rented and then bought because I have no self-control but this is also another one that I think would be a great maternity dress so so comfy elastic more room I don't think this would be able to see me right to the end but it'll definitely be able to see me for the next few months I think and it's a bit more winter appropriate you, you can still wear tights boots and just like shove jumpers over the top of it so this dress is actually a maternity shirt that I got second hand so this was actually my first ever official piece of maternity clothing so i'm assuming we're on for a winner here especially because it's also a couple sizes too big for me there we have it perfect i normally wear this as a dress and i just stick a belt around it which is absolutely still doable for me now because i'll just like stick a belt 
over the top of my bump or as I get bigger I can wear this like just as a really baggy shirt with my maternity jeans. Perfect. Very happy about this purchase a few years ago. <laughs> so next up we have two small dresses that I think are like promising in terms of stretchiness and growth but not promising in terms of the fact that they are quite short dresses. So as bump gets bigger, I don't know how decent these dresses will be, but this is just like my favorite item of clothing that I own. Um, I've had it for who knows how long, like seven or eight years, but there's lots of growing groom in here. These are fake buttons. It's all just like elastic. Yeah, the only worry is just like, as I get bigger, just And then this is the other dress with the same problem. It's got a lot of room in it, but it's short. I think this one's actually even shorter. This is just gonna cover up the bump and then until basically the fabric is just at the bottom of the bump and doesn't cover up my crotch at all. But definitely a keeper for now. All right, next up, I've got my um, winter dungarees and actually I think these are both no's. I have worn this twice in the last week. Both times I've had to undo the zipper as it just gets too tight and too big. I'm sorry, you're going. This one doesn't even have a zipper, I don't even think. And it's very short as well. Um, I mean, it still fits now. Actually, this is probably more comfy than the green one because the green one does like come in at the waist with that zipper, whereas this one doesn't have that. So maybe do we survive in this one like a little bit longer? No, I think we, we sacrifice the corduroy dungarees. Oh, so this would be a great Christmas party season top it is a crop top obviously and i have so many crop tops that i don't think are gonna work for much longer but i think this one i could get away with it, especially for the next few weeks for christmas party season Whoa, look at that Ooh, we're still in there and then you know like wear it with that um high-waisted party black skirt and then that's my that's christmas sorted right i think all of these very small crop tops are gonna have to be put away for winter sorry guys i've got some tops this one I think should be fine, especially like long tops, because then I can put them over my jeans. Boom, look at that, easy. This is another one that I think will be fine for now. Maybe won't see me to the end of pregnancy, but we've got some time. We've got a good amount of time to go here. As much as I love this, because it's a crop top, so I need like long things to go underneath. Like it's difficult to wear with maternity jeans because then you like see the maternity jeans and it looks really weird. But if I wear like a long vest like this underneath, it should be fine. Small buttons down the middle shirt. Sorry, no. Basically all of my tops have to go with my maternity jeans because I don't have anything else. All those dungarees for now. This is a keeper for now, like it's such a big, such a big shirt. Goes with loads of my stuff. This is another party potential top. And it's bodycon and it's stretchy. It's like probably the only bodycon stretchy thing I have. I think I'll keep this for party season. We'll see how big I am after that. <laughs> this is the top that I bought to Disney Bound as Snow White. I don't particularly like it, but I keep it just in case I need to do another Snow White Disney bound, you know, it's very important. No, there's not much growing room left in here and it's a bit more of a warm weather top. And then this is kind of a crop top. It's stretchy, it's thick for winter. This is just gonna like be placed on top of the bump. <laughs> um, no, sorry, see you next year maybe. So I'm not going through all of my jumpers because my jumpers are keepers for winter and they're basically all massive and oversized. So they're gonna be perfect. I'm pretty pleased with how much I've got left. Like I think there is still a lot to work with and I'm gonna get like quite far through pregnancy without like hopefully needing to buy too many new things. The only things currently that I can think of that I'm like, I need to get me that is a maternity winter coat because all of my coats are very small, they're short. I'm gonna need something for January and February <laughs> that will cover um, a bigger bump. Also maybe some maternity leggings as well. Like I'm currently wearing some normal leggings and they are like at their peak in terms of comfort. Like if I get any bigger, when I get any bigger, they're just not gonna be great for breathing in or comfort. So maternity leggings are also something that I'm on the hunt for. But other than that, I think I'm good with my current actual 
wardrobe. There's one other thing that I think I might need to get a maternity kind of like version of, which is this like black long sleeved top that I have that I wear underneath a lot of things during winter, especially like one of those dresses that you saw that had like the shorter sleeves and I add this underneath to turn it into a winter dress, but it's kind of semi cropped. Like it doesn't go down very far on my belly and it still fits me now, it's fine, but it might be a bit weird later. And so maybe I'll need just to get like a plain long sleeve black top that is like, a proper maternity, big, stretchy, like goes around the belly situation. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this maternity wardrobe clear out, try on situation. If you're pregnant or you have been pregnant before, I'm curious to know like, did you need to get a whole new wardrobe or did you like manage to make do with what you had? Like what season were you like the biggest in and how did that change what things you needed to add or maybe didn't need to add to your wardrobe. I am curious because I definitely have seen some like videos and blogs out there from people who are like, I didn't buy any new clothes for pregnancy. And I'm like, how? <laughs> incredible. I hope you're well. I hope you have a good Christmas and New Year, whatever you might be celebrating, taking a two week break from videos over the holiday season. And I'll be back in January with some more videos and happy new year. See you then. Bye. I just finished putting all of my clothes away and I was curious about how many there are seeing as I did the 33 items for three months, which I ended up doing maybe around 40. Um, but I just counted them all and the top that I'm wearing and um, I think all of the tops that I have in the wash um, as well. And I counted 39. So unless there's like another top stashed away in the washing basket that I couldn't find, like that's pretty good. That doesn't include leggings, tights, coats, um, things like that, shoes, it's not counting shoes. Um, but yeah, all of these clothes and then all of the ones in my drawer down there. 39. Let's go.